how cool is this staircase? No, it doesn't look like the safest activity right now. Finding a home in Southern Utah has become quite a bit easier and frankly everywhere else in the US as we're starting to see a lot more inventory hit the market. However, if you're looking for something special, something special that could accommodate a couple of RVs, maybe an RV and a boat, RV and a boat and a couple of bikes, you might still be struggling with finding the perfect one. However, today I've got potentially the one. So for those of you that have been following our channel for a while, you have seen various stages of this home. And in today's update, I'm going to take you on a tour of this incredible home with a double RV garage. So not only does this home have a double RV garage, it is also a very modern custom home that has some really cool touches that you just won't see in any average home. So let me give you guys a little bit um, about this property. It is currently listed for 1.35 million. It is almost a 3,000 square foot home with a nearly 2,000 square foot garage. So I'm standing inside of the double RV garage right now. And I believe the RV garage is about 1,800 square feet, a little over 1,800 square feet it is a single story home with a loft over the double RV garage. And you could seriously park all sorts of toys in here. Now, I know these house tour videos usually get an average view duration of about seven minutes. So just bear with me. Uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff to see inside. Go ahead and do me a favor. Let me know what would you park in this incredible garage? What would you fill this space with? Uh, folks, again, this home is currently offered for sale. I will post the full MLS listing in the description below this video. So this is essentially the, the two car garage with a two car bay, and that's the double RV. This door is locked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let myself in through the casita. So this home is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom home. And let's just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful the exterior of this property looks. Look at these sleek, modern lines, beautiful roof line, incredible exterior finishes with some brick, and the color is going in next week. So this is going to look even better. This home has um, a courtyard right outside of the front door, and then this massive metal front door takes you in, or you could independently access it through this casita. Now, this casita has a slider that gets you into this property and it has an ensuite and it can be locked away from the rest of the house. Let's take a look and see how much progress we made inside of this ensuite. So it has beautiful floating vanities. Good looking countertops. Tile that runs floor to ceiling. A really good sized closet. So this could be used as a guest suite and it can be locked away from the rest of the house with this door, put a deadbolt on it. So you have your mother-in-law suite, guest suite, maybe an office, however you'd like to use it. This is a powder that could be accessed from directly from the front door. So it will just have a single beautiful floating vanity and a toilet. And take a look at this grand entry. I'm just going to pan around a little bit to give you guys a feel for the space. So it is so open here. These ceilings are a little over 22 feet, I believe, and they just open all the way into the loft area. And these stairs are going to be absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for them to be finished because they will be finished with some butcher block on the top and they will be painted. They'll also have open railing that goes kind of all the way around the perimeter. I think it is going to look fantastic. So the living room dining area has these massive ceilings that open all the way up to, essentially to the height of the RV garage and it's a little bit messy right now. There's still work in progress. We are on track 
to get pretty much everything completed by the end of the month. So let me first give you a view in this direction. Take a look at this beautiful ceiling with uh, slats that kind of, I feel like it sets this home apart from many others that we see in this category. Now, if we look at the cabinets, these custom cabinets have an opening for a commercial fridge. That's right, this property will come with a commercial fridge included. It will have two sinks. We have a massive center island right here. The center island will have a sink and then we will also have a sink right there by the window, dishwasher right there, oven and a microwave. And here we have a hidden pantry. So this door, once this door is closed, let me back away a little bit so I can show you guys. When that pantry door is closed, it looks just like one of the other cabinets in this room. And the pantry is actually absolutely massive in this home. I don't know how much we'll be able to see without lights. Looks like the shelving in the pantry got painted. Has a nice counter area, more cabinets, and it just goes around the corner. So you've got a massive pantry in this home. So as we go through this wing of the house, it has another great detail that I absolutely love. Here we have a little mud room. This door takes us back out in the garage. And bear with me, folks. I hope the quality doesn't get too terrible. So you could enter the living room through this door, or you could also enter the living room through the laundry. Here we have a really good size laundry room that connects into the primary dressing. And take a look at the size of this closet. It is a really good size. And then the master dressing connects to the primary suite. Here we have a massive shower. Again, take a look at this tile work. I absolutely love the combination of the penny tile with the black tile that runs all the way to the ceiling. And then here we have tile that matches the floor and the surround that will go around a standalone tub. Another beautiful detail. We have more of that accent wall behind that matches the accent ceiling that we saw in the living room. And directly across, we have a beautiful dual floating vanity that will have some massive mirrors up above it. And of course, here we have a water closet and frosted windows out back, letting in plenty of natural sunlight. Primary bedroom, so there are four bedrooms. Each bedroom has an ensuite also a powder so every single bedroom in this home has an ensuite the windows and the sliding doors are white on the inside to perfectly match the color of the white walls and they're black on the exterior to kind of outline some detail and give this home make it more aesthetically pleasing so we've, we've put a big emphasis on making sure that no small detail is missed in this home so on this level we have the casita we have the primary and the living area. Now let's head up to the loft area of this home. How cool is this staircase? No, it doesn't look like the safest activity right now, but it is, trust me. Here's another great view from up top. Let's take a look at this. And there's no shortage of sliders on this property. Take a look at this. So here to the north, we have a beautiful balcony that opens up to the north of this property. And it is a brisk 104 degrees outside right now. Take a look at these views. Imagine just walking out here in the morning with a cup of coffee or maybe sitting down in the afternoon with a glass of wine. There we have Pine Valley Mountain, some beautiful red rock to accent it across the bottom. These views will never get old. So that slider goes directly into that bedroom. Let's head back inside and explore the rest of these bedrooms. Folks, 
If you're still with me and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it. On this channel, we talk about living, working, and playing in Southern Utah and all things Southern Utah related. So this is one of the other bedrooms. This bedroom is kind of directly above the, the primary bedroom downstairs. And take a look at this size, it is massive. This bedroom has an ensuite. Here we have similar tile to downstairs, beautiful dual floating vanity, and a similar style shower with penny tile on the floor and then ceiling to floor tile across. And then here we have an attached closet, pretty good sized closet. And we have one more bedroom to explore. Here we have a hallway closet that has a little bit of the AC ducting involved. And then this is the bedroom with the view. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of a, you know, how do you compromise? Which bedroom would you pick in this home? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Would you pick the view? Would you pick the convenience of backyard access? Would you want independent access? Would you want just a massive bedroom with a dual vanity? Which one would you pick? So this bedroom also has an ensuite, and this ensuite actually also has a dual vanity. Oh, oh. And none of our lighting fixtures are in yet, but I have those lighting fixtures listed in the original listing description. Uh, if you click on the link below this video, it will take you to the MLS listing. And right now we're probably super dark, but this shower absolutely looks awesome because here we have white tile and black tile, penny tile on the floor and the white tile kind of flows throughout. If you have any questions about this home, if you're thinking about relocating to the area or if you're thinking about building your very own custom home, please get in touch with me. There's a calendarly link in the description below this video. Schedule a time so we could pair you with a perfect home or if you're interested in particular home. It is currently on the market. It is listed by Nick and Michon Rostopchin with Equity Real Estate. Yours truly. Please give me a call. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumb. Share it with somebody that would love it. And yeah, we will see you in the next one.